Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your MC55 handheld to a wireless network. It's very similar to the ES400, but there are some subtle differences. Okay, number one, we can get to a verification that the Wi Fi adapter is on by clicking here. If you miss that, we're clicking right on this top line with the Bluetooth symbol and the Wi Fi. Now, this brings us to Wi Fi. It says network card. I already have it connected to a network. If this says off, you'll tap here to turn it on, and then we'll try and connect to a network. Now, down here there's a little symbol. Um, it's got these bars, and this, this is supposed to be a network card. Um, it's kind of hard to make out. It's very small. But if you click here, you get this menu. And this menu has all your Wi-Fi wi options. You can also click on the Start menu go to programs, go to wireless companion, go to wireless launch, notice how it's just a bigger symbol like that, and you get the same menu. Alright, here we go here. We're going to go to find WLANs. Scanning just like with the ES400. Found our Plunkett's network. You gotta click and hold right on top of the name just like with the ES400. Hit connect. There's no create profile, it's connect. <clears throat> now these pages are gonna look the same as the ES400 connection. Profile name is Plunkett's or whatever your network name is. That's fine. Hit next. Operating mode. Don't worry about it. Hit next. This part's important. Security mode. On the ES400, it defaults to the proper one. On this, it doesn't. You need to know what your password is. If it's a passphrase, I'm 90% sure it's going to be WPA or WPA2 personal. If it's a big long number, pretty sure it's going to be legacy pre WPA. If it doesn't work with WPA, try WPA2. If you have no idea what I'm saying right now, give me a call and I'll walk you through it. So we're going to hit next. We're going to at Plunkett's we have WPA personal. We're going to select that. We're going to hit next. Now, if it's a passphrase like I said, if, you know, if it's something you customized and made it your your kids birthdays or you know your dog's name it's gonna be passphrase if it's a big long number that came assigned to the router and you've done nothing to it it's probably gonna be hexadecimal we have a passphrase here in this box right here for added security mass characters entered this just if we uncheck it we can see the letters we're typing if we leave it checked the letters are gonna be asterisks so we won't be able to see what we're typing so we're gonna uncheck it put in our passphrase Plunkett's it's easy we hit next and now we have page five or six and Again, leave these on the defaults. The only pages we're concerned with is this one, this one, and this one. Everything else we leave as is. We hit next, we hit next again, and we hit save. <clears throat> now if you notice that to the left of your names, of your network names here, they show up with a exclamation point inside of what looks like a, a yield sign. We're going to 
going to show you how to fix that real quick. You click on your wireless launch icon down here and you go to options. From the options menu, click here, the drop down menu appears and you select regulatory. This box is going to be checked if you have that exclamation point inside of a yield sign. Uncheck it and hit save and that exclamation point will go away and you'll be able to connect to your network. If you're having issues with this, please call me and I'll walk you through it. Um, but please know what your password is and that makes things a heck of a lot easier. Thanks.